What's up guys, it's Mo, and today I'm gonna film for you in my car on my lunch break, a little uh, fall flip through of my planner. I have filmed or shared with you guys before like the setup of this and it pretty much hasn't changed. Um, there's just like some deco and stuff I wanna share with you guys, give you guys some inspiration. This is an A5 wide or like a standard vertical type of planner cover, a spiral they call it. Ooh, planner cover I have discs on mine um, from print pressions um, I or print pression I love this but I am itching to change out of it um, it is great for decorating I love it you're gonna see the setup and I mean I love it but it is a lot for me to take out and bring around and I don't know if I actually had this out on my desk and maybe was writing in it and using it for work I would I don't know, keep it in here, but I'm liking the flexibility of just being able to pull out my planner on disc, flip it around and write in it when I'm in my car, um, on my lunch break, when I am, I don't know, just having time to fill out my planner. And this is just a lot to, I guess, take out. So let me jump into sharing with you how I have the pockets and everything set up, pretty much just my like fall setup for um, 2020. Okay, so I'm trying not to get the like dirt <laughs> that's in the bottom of my car or whatever you call that like on my car mat in here and this is going to be hard to see in the beginning because my interior of my car is black and then my planner is black but we will jump into it. So I may have to reposition some stuff here. Let's get this open. Okay. I'm also gonna try and hold this pretty steady. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I might have to do like some stabilization afterwards. Who knows, I may even, even end up getting a tripod and redoing this. But this is my planner setup. Um, you can see I have some stuff going on in the pockets here. I'll actually go over here to that. So this planner has like what they call a duo pocket. So there's one going this way and one going that way. And then there's like a secretarial pocket right here. And I have stuffed this full of a bunch of different things from a bunch of different shops. So I made a few die cuts and I will have, whoops, I hit my water bottle. I will have a video on making die cuts, kind of like making scenes, like how this one is. I'm put this together and then um, printed it and cut it out on my silhouette, I think, with these. Um, but I will have a video on how I kind of put those together um, so you can see how to make your own little type of like scene um, die cuts for your planner. So we have, I think I got some stuff from Glam Art Xana and Coffee Doodles Co. on Etsy. Um, I will leave a link to all the stuff that I got actually so that you can see. Um, but I just have this little deco pocket here. This is something that's from Target a while ago that's like a little sticker patch. This little die cut, there's a bunch of free die cuts in the Papershire Facebook group. That's also where this one is from. I have them taped down. Some of them are like taped down with washi tape. So that's where this one is from. This one up here is from Glam Art Xana. This is a journaling card. Um, but yeah, hopefully you can see this a little bit better. It's like taped down with washi tape. Um, and then this is also something I printed off from Glam Art Xana. This, I have this like whole thing held together with some washi tape so it all stays layered like that since there aren't you know, assorted pockets up this side. These are really old page flags from the Target Dollar Spot. This is like a sheet of um, cookies from Paper Shire. And then I also have this little like, you can't really see because it's all um, taped together, pumpkin spice candle. This candle didn't say pumpkin spice on it. I edited it, edited it in Pixlr. Um, this girl is from Coffee Doodles. There's like a little scrunchy die cut as well as this and this. No, not this. I think just these two things are from Coffee Doodles. Um, I think that's the name of it. And then I have my ruler in here that I use to draw out my layouts. And this is from the Happy Planner. There's some... Uh, this is a paper clip that I made using those like felt guys. Uh, like felt stickers that come out in the holiday time. I guess like seasonally um, how would you say that like seasonally with like fall stuff or Christmas stuff they'll have like Santa stickers and they're like felt little guys you can just deal with and I just put them on a paper clip let me see if I can get them off and hot glued them to that 
I don't know if I'll be able to get them back on. Whoop, there he goes. Okay. And then I have, I think this, yeah, September uh, acetate little die cut dashboard. I don't know, monthly thing from Rose Colored Days. I haven't placed a Rose Colored Days order in a while, so I don't have an updated one for October. Then I have some Rose Colored Days, um, like Wheel of the Year um, stickers in here that are clear and foiled. This was a Patreon perk and then this is some stuff some like clear stickers from um some of the happy planner sticker books then we can move on into i don't really have much to show over on this here um this is my i guess cover my little dashboard i have a video this well this first off is from little miss fancy plans um What's her at home with Kita? Yeah, I think Little Miss Fancy Plans is the shop, um, but this is just a clear like plastic cover. Then I made this dashboard. There's a video on using Cricut to make like dashboards and stuff on my channel that I'll link. And then I just printed out, I kind of switched out my pictures here for fall. This is a um, Happy Planner, what do you call it? Like page protector thing that I've had a bunch of these for ages. And then, I mean, my whole setup is pretty much exactly the same. Um, I have my, the stickers coming off this. Well, this is like a vinyl die cut that I did. Um, my dividers, they're same. I did them like I did this, just put some, um, gold on the dividers and did it like that in the back I don't know if I showed you guys this before but in the back there are these pockets and I just store some of my stickers um this has been nice to have my stickers in here when I'm like planning on the go or whatever but I do find that I just don't I don't know use them as much or if I need them in like a memory planner or something I don't have them because they're in this planner and so it just I don't know. Oh, I forgot that my car was on. We'll see if this audio is good or not. Um, but yeah, so that is, that's my setup for fall. Um, like I said, I will have some videos for you guys on like making your own die cuts and whatnot, but yeah, I just picked up some clip art, um, from, you know, Etsy shops and then some stuff is free. I, I, if I remember, I will leave a link to some free or some shop groups, I guess, that have some freebies, like free die cuts and whatnot, so that you can see that and, um, you know, get you some stuff for free. And I think Papershire also released some new fall stuff. They've got like some Halloween inspired stuff and like just generic fall. Like this is where, uh, Papershire is where I got this one from and this one. And they're real cute, like illustrated doodles um like i said for free so you can make them into paper clips you can make them into little die cuts for your planner you can make them into stickers i have some stickers let's see here i'm gonna flip through my sticker stash so like this this is from the paper shire group and i just kind of put them together these are mine which by the way i started putting some scripts in the shop so like this says starbucks so those are in the shop let's see here oh this one not this one this is coffee masters co Boop. where'd it go that one this was also from paper shire freebie and her group also from paper shire so yeah also from paper shire that little doodle one right here so you can just make them into this one. Uh, no, Stationery Heaven Co. I think it was. I used this one for like Marcus's um, daycare stuff. But yeah. Yeah. So there's lots of different stuff in there in her group that you can use to mark a bunch of different things. Um, you know, if you want to make your own stickers or whatnot. So yeah, so that is my fall setup for 2020. I really like this dashboard. Um, I really like, I'm, I am itching to change this out, guys. I think I'm going to just maybe keep these so I can go back to them for um, Thanksgiving-ish or maybe November, but I'm itching to get out of this and do something different for October, even though I did purchase some other clip art to make, um, what do you call it? uh, die cuts for Halloween to put in here, but I think I'm going to switch some stuff up and then hopefully I will be able to do a flip through for that. Um, maybe not in my car, but let me know if you guys think this is okay. Um, I'm trying to get this glare off of here. I really have not had time to do much and I like, I want to share stuff with you guys and get like videos up, but then I don't have time to edit them or I don't have time to do the voiceover or I'm also just like, I want to play in my planner. So 
If you don't mind, like maybe I can figure out a better way and get a tripod, maybe sit in the back of my car. Loads of people go to their cars on their break. So I really don't care if people see me filming videos in the back of my car. Um, but let me know if that's something that you don't care about. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can stabilize this too. And hopefully the audio wasn't that bad. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I will talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.